Hi everyone, today we're doing a room called Soup Decode on Triacme. So we can see it's an Active Directory machine with a domain control that exploited Kerberos authentication, so most likely Kerberos thing. Trying to get like a ticket or something from the Kerberos service and SMB share, which is SMB enumeration, so looking at SMB. So password brain, so maybe brute forcing and pass the hash techniques. Trying to get the admin hash and doing something with it. So like we can log in with the admin hash instead of the actual, you know, password, which is kind of cool. So we can see if we look here, Kerberos is open, SMB is open, and we get some domain information. So we see the domain controller and we see soupdecode.local. First thing I want to do before I forget is we want to go to our etc host file. This is pretty much our IP to domain. So if you look here, you can see quickly we need soup decode without the zero and we need DC this DC one dot you know soup decode local. Put that in. All we need to do is tab and put in the IP. So my IP address is here, what I want to use. So put your IP address in for your attacker's machine. Well your victim machine, I guess, and press X and Y and save it. We want to clear this out. First thing we want to do is SMB client. This is L is to list, N is for no login. And we're pretty much going to log in, try to uh, log in anonymously and it does not work. So the next thing we want to do is use Kerberoot. You can get Kerberoot on GitHub by just do going GitHub Kerberoot. And pretty much you want to go here, we can go to releases. And pretty much this is the pre compiled binary. So if you go to assets, you want to get Kerberoot Linux AMD64. This is pretty much what all should work on most computers. So if we do Kerberoot and if we do help get some information quickly, we want to do some user enumeration first of all with Kerberoot. So pretty much we want to go to user share word list sec list user names and top shortlist.txt. So pretty much this is the word list we're going to be using to get the usernames. This is just a word list that's pretty good from sec list, which is a good word list to use for getting usernames. So if we get the DC, which is the domain controllers like address, I guess in a way. And and if you look here, soup decode here, or you can just remove DC1 here and just use this bit here. So we pretty much want to check for usernames and we can see we get some names. So so we can see you get a guest and the soup D local. So we know we have a guest user. And one thing that I want to say about guest users is that guest users tend to not need login, especially with Active Directory. So if you do SMB, I think it's dash U for a lowercase user. For we, I forget we need to put in the IP address as well. So if you get the IP address from here and put that in, and we want to put in guest. So if you put in guest, and I think we want to do shares. And and the password is no password. If we press enter, we should be able to see. And we can log in as guest IPR, well, the IPC file. So this can let us do some more enumeration. So if we do netcat exists user enumeration, enumeration. And if we Google it up, we can see this is the first thing that come up. Enumerate domain users netcat exec wiki. So I use the wiki and if we go to I use this and pretty much this is just what I did and it didn't show me any inf anything interesting. I clicked next and I did brute forcing by RID. So this is just the ID of every single user I'm guessing and pretty much a brute forcing that. So if you copy the IP, we put the IP in and the username. So our username is guest and our password is nothing. We don't have a password. We press enter and we are brute forcing by RID. So we're just going to let this do its thing. And one thing I want to say is that it's put in a format that's not really that useful for us. So if we copy this all and if you do chat GPT, just give me the admin, the username and we want to give it our command. So if we go scroll up, we can see that there's so many users and it will probably be impossible to brute force them all because there's so much. So if you go to the top and if we come here, we want it to modify this command. So we only get modify the command. So on only get username, save to a file with grep. So grep will just get the username and cut out all the useless pretty much stuff in a way. So let's just get this and I don't think this is going to work, but what we'll do, we'll put it in and when it doesn't work, we'll ask GPT to fix it for us. Yeah, and we get this error that it doesn't exist. So pretty much it's hallucinating the AI model, but it's not the end of the world. We'll put it back in and it should fix it for us. Because I could remember the command myself, but I just can't, I'm not really that good with grep. 
So we're going to use GPT to help us out with it. If you put it in a chat GPT, it says that's the corrected code. And if we do it again, it should hopefully work. So we're going to get all the usernames and we're going to do some brute forcing. So we got usernames. We just need the passwords. So if we can't usernames.txt, we got all the usernames. And the thing we want to do now is just do some brute forcing. And if we look at Kerbrute for a second, Kerbrute help. And we can see we need it in this format, brute force. So we're not GPT again, the user, uh, chat, uh, cat user txt so pretty much we want it to put in give me the uh, modify this file to repeat the user names in let's get the format quickly we need a reopen curb root and we want it in this format so we want it in username and password format in this format so use grep or aux so pretty much arc is a way to like modify files and yeah that's what we want uh no uh the password the password should be the user name so if we put that in should hopefully put it yeah that seems right to be fair so that, that should hopefully work so if we cut formatted.txt the reason i'm doing this is because it's so long that it'd be impossible and what i'm guessing is that they probably just reused the username and that's what i did i originally used brute forcing but brute forcing does not did not work because it was so long and i don't have a gpu so do so the thing that i did and i hoped for was that brute force would work if it's under the password so i was guessing the password would be the username since that would be the only other way to do it so if we get the dc again the D domain controller should be here somewhere might just be being blind but yeah it's here so that's the domain controller you need to put the domain controller in and the domain dash d for domain i don't like the fact that it's double slash for dc and single d for domain that's a bit annoying but it is what it is so if we get super decode local and we put that back in it should hopefully work and we get bob y bob 317 so that's the first thing we found so we've got a username and password so if you do crack map exec smb so if we do smb and we get rid of all this so pretty much we want to get the shares and we want to change the username to this here so this is our username and this is our password that we can find from the valid login and we can see it does work and this user has access to the user share so this could be the user txt file that we need so let's remove the tags and let's get user users and dash u i think it's so put in the dash u and dash p so i think it's lowercase u if you do double quotes we can get bob here i think it's uppercase which is really annoying because some programs use lower and some use programs use upper i think that's the wrong ip as well no it's the right ip address so bob blah 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 it's that is, it is not found so i think we might need to do l to list maybe yeah it's dash l to list login status fail so i'm gonna ask gpt again use smb client to make this work do this in smb client so there uh, i put that in and it should hopefully convert this command in smb client uh, it messed up so what i want it to do is do this command in smb client and it should hopefully put it in smb client so that's what i want so that's the user we need so let's list so we know the user that we want is users and let's get rid of this here and we're in so we're in as bob so if we do cd bob if we do dir again and we want to get to the desktop as that's where it is then if we do dir and get user txt but this gives us an interesting if you look back here i got stuck for a little bit but if we go back up here we can see kerberos authentication so pretty much kerberos authentication is kerberos thing so we're going to be abusing the kerberos authentication you get some tickets or whatever so uh, netcat exec kerberos and so you can see i put it in here but earlier the first time i did the room so if you do kerberos thing pretty much we'll be getting like an hash or something and we're we're pretty much gonna break it in hash count which you can see right here which is what we're gonna do later so we're gonna get our username which i think was bob so it's bob 137 so bob bob 137 and our ip which should be here that's our ip address to so get our ip address and put that in and we're gonna output it to a .txt file and we can see we're getting a bunch of hashes and what not so if we do ls and if we do cat the one i want to do i'll just scroll back up to the top actually we want the file this is the first one i did it one by one and the only one that we really need is the file since we want to since this will be a pretty high privilege service so so if we copy this for a second and if we do nano.txt we paste that in if we do cat hash.txt all we need to do now is run hash cat against this hash to get the full hash format so we don't want to do it against output.txt we want to do it against hash.txt if you do user shared word list 
rocku.txt and we start running this we should hopefully be able to get a password I'm pretty sure the password from memory is really weak as well so it should hopefully be quick about this so we can see we get a user account which is file dot so if I do netcat exec quickly and just move on to the next step so we want to do smb again and this time we want to do it with this user so this user is file and we're going to be logging in as the service and if we do double rotation and if we do shares to see the shares we should hopefully be able to see some shares and we can see it does work so and we can read the backup directory which is an interesting one you do smb client and we put in backup we want to read in the backup user so we put file vc that in it wants a password for that user we copy this so copy selection and paste it in and we are in and we can get backup extract let's exit our v and cut this so we can see web server i used web server it didn't work we were in as file server so we might as well log in as file server smb map we're gonna log in as the this file share so if we come here and we log in as this file share and if we go to that c i think it's c dollar sign and it wants the hash actually we need to put it in as a hash i do dash h i put in the hash it should be here the hash file server is here so put that in and it's not working put this in a chat gpt why isn't this working so pretty much this is just telling it a break and this is not what telling it it's a password so if you do ls we can see we're in as in the c drive and if we do dash there we go to admin e straighter and cd to desktop and we can see we get root.txt so if we do get root.txt 